So as promised, here is my second video showing the creation process of the math worksheet generator. So this video is sped up so I can cover the whole process from creation in the app to compilation in Affinity Publisher. And the bit to keep your eye on is the timer in the bottom left hand corner. It is recording two sections. The first is the length of time to create the book in the app and the second is the formatting section in Publisher. And I will tell you when that starts. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Jane Willingale of Silver Zone Principles, and I create videos for this channel based on low content publishing and printables for Etsy or similar platforms and tips for using the Affinity Suite to achieve that. And if that kind of thing interests you, then click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos like this. And if you found this video helpful, then please do click on the like button, which will help this video get seen and help me grow this channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. As I have access to the full suite of the Math Worksheet Generator app, I did not think it would be fair to use any of the sections beyond the front end for this test, as not everyone will buy all the extras. So I've just used the front end and used only two of the choices from each of the math problems. The simplest of the options, in other words. I was also asked the question about whether this app was Common Core compliant, which is the US curriculum standard. And as I did not know, I went straight to the horse's mouth to find out, so to speak. Niranjan's reply was this. The app is not tied in to any one country's curriculum, as that would make it inappropriate for other countries. Instead, as an open format, it allows the publisher creator to manipulate what the app can produce to fit or not within your country's curriculum. It also allows you to choose different levels of difficulty to aim at different grades, key stages, etc., depending on your country. There are a lot of very successful math books on Amazon in similar veins, so the niche is very open, especially for the home school market. Now, here you can see I've chosen two different layouts from the options available within the app for each type of sum and included them both on one page of each set for variety. It just looks a little better, not quite so boring. You, of course, do not need to do this, just my design choice. And I've set up one page for addition, then uh, bulk cloned it and then repeated the process for subtraction, multiplication and division. Then I realized I'd not added in enough pages, so I bulk cloned another 10 pages for each type of math problem. That was really quick. Then I added in the solution pages, and this gave me a book of 110 pages ready to export as a PDF. And although you can see the PowerPoint option for export here, remember it's only available from the second upsell. Then I do a quick run through to make sure everything is in its place and look how fast this has been. Just over 13 minutes. Imagine how many books you could create in a day using this method. So the next section is adding additional formatting in Affinity Publisher, which is my publishing program of choice. 
You can, of course, use PowerPoint. Even if you don't buy the upsell, you can export the book as JPEGs or PNGs and then import them into PowerPoint or Canva, which you can import PDF into or even Word. So I've opened up the PDF into Publisher and decided to add problem related borders to each section by creating them using characters for the plus sign, the minus sign, multiplication and division signs. The last I had to create because of course the computer sign is a slash. Duplicating them and creating borders on all four sides for each master page. Very simple to do, even down to using shapes to create a division sign. And I've taken my time a bit to create these borders so I can show people how I did them, as this video will be available as a bonus to buyers through my link of the app, along with the finished math book as a template to kickstart you. I'll add the link to the description below. The file and the video will be available at the end of the launch period, which is midnight EST on the 25th of July.
Once the master pages are set up, then I add them to the relevant pages and I show you two ways of doing that. The first is by selecting a few of the pages and then dragging the master page onto them. That's easiest if you only have a few pages really. The second method is to right click on the master page and then choose the apply master to pages and then click on specified pages and enter the page number range in the box below. And the last thing to do is to add in a title page, which I haven't shown here as it's just a matter of adding a page at the beginning and adding in your text. The bonus file will contain this. This whole process, as you can see by the timer in the bottom left hand corner, has only taken less than 25 minutes. So add that to the 13 minutes to create the book and you've got, what's that, my maths isn't great, but less than 40 minutes to create the whole book. Uh, the only other additional time would be to create a cover. Now the thing to remember here is that you can enhance this book enormously if you add any of the upsells, especially if you get to the, the last upsell or if you only buy the last upsell as that gives you access to all the images and there are a great deal more types of math problems that you can add in uh, once you get up to the second and third upsells. This then makes your books much more unique, more diverse, you can have a whole range of them. You can create uh, one or two covers as a theme and then that becomes faster as well. I think it's fair to say that this app really does solve the issue of taking too much time to create these kind of books and allows you to put your time into the, the graphical and creative side rather than the slog of producing math problems, checking solutions uh, and all the proofing that goes with that. You can check out the app itself in more detail at the links below in the description. I've been Jane Willingale at Silverzone Printables. Thanks for watching. See you next time.